Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and it's time for part two of the Monday Q&A, so let's get it done. This may be stupid as shit, but when I bench heavy sometimes, my hamstrings cramp up and tighten up, causing a sharp pain in my legs when I'm pressing the bar up. How do I prevent this? I hate this when this happens. Yes, I do have the same issue. This can be... Sometimes electrolyte imbalance can cause this, so some magnesium can help. But oftentimes this happens as a result of if you're training full body particularly, <laughs> if you've done any sort of hamstring work first, like a deadlift or anything that works the hamstrings hard, this can become a problem. So what you're going to want to have to do is stretch your hamstrings out. If you've done any other lifts before you bench press, if this is an issue for you, Stretch your hamstrings out thoroughly with hurdler stretches before you even lay down and warm up on the bench press. Because once you initiate one of these cramps, it's going to be much harder to get away with bench pressing. So you need to stretch the hamstring out beforehand. Also, if this seems to be a problem for you, taking some magnesium before you train can help. And keep in mind, if you're on certain drugs, a wide variety of different ones can cause this actually that can't affect electrolyte balance then those can contribute to this and make this worse things like clenbuterol ephedrine things like that will dramatically contribute to this so that could actually be part of your problem in which case extra magnesium extra electrolytes extra water lots of stretching will help and it's just one of those things that's going to happen in that situation potentially all right next question how crucial is cardio when cutting below 12% body fat? It depends completely upon your appetite. Now we can always argue that it's better to use cardio for nutrient partitioning purposes at any given calorie intake. We can argue about the health benefits, potentially training yourself for better recovery, through developing better capillary beds in your muscle tissue. There's a lot of things we could discuss as far as the benefits of why you should be doing cardio, but is it essential for fat loss? For someone with no appetite, not at all. You can get very, very lean without any cardio. In fact, I've seen guys like Martin Birkin recommend these things and get people absolutely shredded with minimal cardio. So it, it isn't necessary, but it is a very, very helpful tool for you to reach this goal. It will make it dramatically easier for you to get under 12% body fat if you're incorporating regular consistent cardio because just quite frankly you can eat more food while reaching the goal and appetite for the majority of people is the problem of why you can't get lean if you could control your appetite completely if you had full control over your appetite mentally and emotionally there is not a human being on earth who couldn't get down to five percent body fat in fact there's not a human being on earth who couldn't get to five percent body fat and keep going until they literally starve themselves to death. It's our appetite that's the issue, and cardio can help you eat more food while maintaining the same deficit. All right, next question. Jason, watched your video on how the supplement industry is known for being caught red-handed with putting illegal substances in their products. I think, and this is what he thinks, this is what the guy posted on the questions, Isatori is doing the same with Biogro. I basically flipped the fuck out tonight and almost demolished a manager from Wendy's because he was taking too long with my order. The days leading up to this as I took BioGrow are directed. I noticed my anger is becoming more present. After tonight, I threw my BioGrow in the trash. I'm sorry, but things are not right about this product. Where can I go to get this tested at? I bought the capsule and not the powder. Can you help me with this? Send me a PM. Now, this latter part pissed me off. Why in the hell would you put something in my Q&As knowing that that is exclusively four videos if you wanted a PM answer. Same for people asking me questions they know that I can't answer in terms of YouTube rules. Why would you ask me that? Seriously, this is, this is for the Q&A videos. Now, that being said, you threw it in the trash. You can't test it. Now you're going to have to go spend another $60, $70 or whatever you paid for this. If you want to go get some tested, you should have kept it and sent it into a lab to test. You could go to Google I don't know what country you live in, I don't know what region you live in, so I don't know what the most convenient place for you 
to get a product tested. But if you have a product, a supplement that you are curious about, you think might contain illegal drugs because it's they've done it over and over and over, company after company has, get yourself a sample, document it if you can, send it into a lab, an independent lab that will test it for different drugs and substances and get a broad spectrum analysis done on it. You could probably get it done for about 50 bucks at 20 or 30 different labs all over even the United States, let alone when we get into the world, we'll do this. We'll do this for a reasonable price. And in fact, if you do it with any of these products, post the results up online. In fact, if some of you are doing this with your supplements, specific supplements, and you're finding illegal drugs in them, you have proof the samples you sent out, send them into me. I might make videos on some of it. Because if someone actually sends in a sample, it's the truth. And the truth is always protected speech when you're presenting evidence of something, credible evidence of something. So, yeah, if you want to go get it tested, send it in, get it tested, and I would love to see the results. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.